Endurance, Shackleton's Incredible Voyage by Alfred Lansing is a gripping account of the British Imperial Trans-Antarctic Expedition, 1914-1916, led by Sir Ernest Shackleton. The book details the remarkable survival story of Shackleton and his 27 crew members after their ship, the Endurance, became trapped and was eventually crushed by the Antarctic ice. The expedition's objective was to make the first land crossing of the Antarctic continent. As the ship sailed toward Antarctica, conditions initially seemed favorable. However, the Endurance soon found itself stuck in the pack ice of the Weddell Sea, just one day's sail from its destination at Vassal Bay. The men were stranded on the ice floes for months, still hopeful for a thaw that would release their ship. As the Antarctic winter set in, the crew had no choice but to accommodate themselves on the ice, waiting and hoping. Their existence on the ice was characterized by meticulous planning and strict routines developed by Shackleton to maintain morale and physical well-being. The men's diet was based on the rations stored in the Endurance, supplemented with hunted seals and penguins. Even as the long polar night approached, Shackleton kept his crew busy with tasks and events to sustain spirits. As time passed, the ice pressure became too great for the Endurance to withstand, and the ship was eventually crushed and sunk, leaving the men stranded on the ice with limited supplies. Shackleton's leadership and decisions now became crucial for survival. The leader ordered the crew to salvage as much as they could from the sinking ship, including three lifeboats, and they set up a makeshift camp on the ice. The team drifted on ice floes for months, crossing areas of dangerous, unstable ice and freezing waters. Shackleton focused on maintaining morale through camaraderie, telling stories, and ensuring that each man took care of his duties. The crew encountered many difficulties, ranging from frostbite and snow blindness to the psychological strains of isolation and uncertainty. Eventually, as the ice floe began to break apart, Shackleton ordered his men into the lifeboats. Displaying extraordinary navigation skills, they embarked on a perilous journey to reach Elephant Island, an inhospitable and uninhabited piece of rock in the middle of the ocean. The journey was harrowing, with monstrous seas and freezing temperatures threatening their lives. Despite the odds, they managed to land, establishing a temporary camp that offered marginal protection from the elements, but no prospect of rescue. Understanding that Elephant Island offered no hope for salvation, Shackleton devised a plan for an 800-mile open boat journey across the Southern Ocean to South Georgia, where there was a whaling station. With a small crew, he set out in one of the lifeboats, the James Caird, modified to endure the treacherous seas. Shackleton navigated across some of the world's most dangerous waters, using only a sextant and dead reckoning. After an arduous 17-day journey, they reached South Georgia. But their trials were not over. The whaling stations were on the other side of the island, which is dominated by glaciers and mountains never before crossed on foot. Shackleton, along with Tom Crean and Frank Worsley, undertook a 36-hour trek across the rugged terrain. On May 20, 1916, they stumbled into the whaling station at Stromness, bedraggled but alive. This was a pivotal moment. They were finally in a position to orchestrate the rescue of the rest of the crew. However, obstacles persisted. The ice conditions around Elephant Island prevented immediate rescue. It took several attempts and nearly four months before a rescue could be successfully executed. Shackleton was relentless and eventually, on August 30, 1916, aboard the Chilean steamer Yelko, he reached Elephant Island and rescued the remaining crew. Astonishingly, after nearly two years of ordeal, all of Shackleton's men survived. Not a single life was lost. The expedition exhibited incredible feats of navigation, perseverance, and above all, the indomitable human spirit. Shackleton's leadership, characterized by his unyielding determination, care for his crew, and remarkable decision-making capabilities, was critical to their survival. He instilled hope in the face of despair and unity in the face of division, leading to one of the most extraordinary tales of survival, endurance, and daring ever recounted. Endurance, Shackleton's incredible voyage, is more than a simple recounting of events. It encapsulates human resilience and the critical role of leadership in overcoming extreme adversity. 
Lansing provides detailed descriptions of the conditions endured by the crew and the landscape they traversed, placing the reader alongside the men as they faced each challenge. The book stresses the themes of endurance, survival, and hope, leaving a lasting impression of the awe-inspiring journey that Shackleton and his crew underwent in the desolate, icy waters of the Antarctic. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.